Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sam Katie 4 and welcome back to Fallout 4 Dungeons and Dragons. So, last time we left off having looked through the memories of Kellogg and finding out that he came from a bit of a bad start and then after his wife and daughter were killed, yeah, um, he turned to a life of, well, nursery work, really, and then ended up working for the Institute and regrets leaving us alive. What's good? I'm glad he regrets that. But today, what we're going to do now, really, we should be going off into, um, where is it we're meant to be going now? You know what? I have forgot. It is, yes, down here, isn't it? The um, glowing sea to find Virgil. But, yeah, before we do that, we kind of need a uh, power armor. So, what I think would be best to do is, yeah, we said, didn't we? We were going to go up to the Constitution and finish that quest line off. Get them sorted. Then we're going to go over and hand this quest into Reese and hopefully give, be given an excuse to put a bullet in him because I really don't like that guy. And then we're going to head up north to Preston, have a word with him, see how everything's going there, and then we'll make a decision because, yeah, I'm, um, I'm tempted to come over to the slog, finish that off, and then go over to Far Harbour. Now, we're not going to do that today. I don't think. I don't think there's going to be enough time to get there today. So, one thing I am going to ask every single one of you who is watching to do, please. It would be nice if you could go down into the comments and let me know. Would you like to see me do Far Harbour now? Or go come down somewhere around here, I can't remember exactly whereabouts it is, I think it's around here, and do Nuka World, because I wouldn't mind doing both of them. Rose hasn't been to Nuka World for over 200 years, I mean the last time she went was probably when she was in her teens I guess, maybe a little bit older. Um, and of course we've been asked to go to Far Harbour to speak rescue um, Nikki Cole's daughter and at the moment I'm leaning towards Far Harbour um, but I wouldn't mind seeing what you suggest. So today yep yeah, let's now head out no we've, we've got another one aren't we we're going to do uh, the silver shroud aren't we first so we'll do the silver shroud so let's take these off a moment because we don't need them up so, yeah, take all of them off. Where are you? There we go, right. We're going to listen, talk to Kent Connolly once we've listened to the radio. And then, yeah, we're going to help him out do his quest. Once we've done his quest, we'll then head up to the Constitution, I think. So, let's have a look for the Silver Shroud radio. And hopefully I've got the radio turned on. Nope. Right, one moment. True fan, stop by the memory den and to talk to Kent Conley. The Silver Shroud needs you. Okay, so there we go. We are in the memory news. den. Radio. So while we're here then, we might as well have um, a look for him. Let's take them She'll as well. Let's yeah, just turn the radio off again. Today's episode. Yeah, right, that's a little bit too loud and I don't want anything popping up that's going to get me being, well, yeah, get um, me a little bit angry with YouTube. Right, so, let's just make sure this is all cleared out and, yeah, unfortunately it's all steam, so never mind. Right, Ken, I'm guessing you're over there, so we'll go to that in a moment. First. Yeah, everything is taken. Right, come on, let's uh, have a word with Ken, shall we? Got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Nope. 
Okay, so what is it you want? <clears throat> Good neighbors crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Okay, alright, let's uh, start off with a nice conversation then. And that's a what? Escape? What do you mean? Reliving old memories. Like Thanksgiving, 2071. Mom made a 12 pound turkey. And then we all listened to the Silver Shroud vs. Captain Cosmos. Even Pa was there. You ever listened to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> that's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. Okay, right. Um, let's see. And that's a one again, okay. What can you tell me about the Shroud? He's from the radio shows. I've listened to all 419 episodes. And the holiday special. He's the best. Better than Grognak and Man to Man combined. Okay. Oh, okay, that's a three. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. Okay. Oh, two. Okay. Oh, I want to change the subject, apparently. Okay. I don't want to get into it. This is sorry, but you know the show. Best detective stories in the world. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun. I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Okay, alright, yeah. Let me guess. I'm the one to do it. Eight! Okay. Sure, Kent. You have a plan, alright. You really gotta rain on this guy's picnic. I know how it sounds. I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? Okay, right, here we go. Alright. Okay, here we go. Alright, and... Okay, typical rolls for... I might do it, if you make it worth my while. I can give you some caps up front. Just promise she'll help me. Okay, alright. Um, see if she's going to do it now. Nope, we've just done that one. We're not doing that again. That's a one. Do you really need the costume? With the gun, I'm just another armed hooligan. But if the Silver Shroud came to life and helped people... It would give everyone hope. Okay, okay, alright, let's see. And that's a three! Okay, very nice. So I guess we're doing it. I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. Okay, so I guess we're off to Hubris Comics then. Right, I will see you. Well, unless uh, Piper says anything, I'll see you either on the way or over there. Hey everyone, gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot the fat. Now I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Huh, he wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman? Want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my Sweet office. Sweet boy, sister. You burned yourself. You hold on to that. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that large. 
but stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny, when people are doing things they don't normally do, when family starts pushing you away for no reason, we all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not, not us! us. At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Good the people! The people! The people. The people. Need a place to stay? Try Hotel Rexford. Brotherhood of Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Okay, well there we go. That was, um... Nice as we came out. Right, let's, um... Carry on to where we were going. Hey. Okay, just stepped out of Good Neighbour around the corner, and of course, we've already run into some super mutants. So, I guess it's time to clear these out. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, right. Just quickly. I'm actually really enjoying Kellogg's gun, actually. It's, um, yeah, um, it's doing a pretty good job. Oh, jeez, right, um, I don't know where that came from, but okay. Yeah. I don't know where you came from either, but fine. Shoot in the back. Yeah, I never really used Kellogg's gun before, so I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Um, no, nothing else there I want. Right. Well, while we're here. Might as well have a nosy around in case there's anything good to grab. There we go, shotgun shells there, that was worth it for that. And oh, about a fair few bottle caps, nice. Okay, what have we got in here? And ah, that's another one. And yep, thank you, take them as well. Right! I guess we might as well check upstairs, because you never know. There might be a... something good up there, and... Oh no, you're just hopeless. Oh, I'm glad I checked behind this. Impact, yes. We were running a bit low on them, weren't we? Right. Upstairs, see if there's anything. If there is, great. If not, well then we'll just move on. So, I've just come across a corpse, and on it was this, and it's updated my... Map, so this could be something we look into at another time. Um, I'm not sure yet. We'll see if we are ever in the area, but that could be something we could be fun to look at. <clears throat> okay, so we're outside of Hubris Comics now, so we're gonna head inside. But yep, yeah, outside, um, there's a few. Yeah, that's fine. You can in a minute. I just want to see what this is. Um, so right. right. Check out Hubert's Comics up Newbury Street. Store on the ground floor, or to be easy. So, right, yep, never mind, that wasn't anything of interest. So, let's head inside, shall we, and get this costume. Okay, so, oh great, straight away we've got one of you. Go away! Oh, yeah, never mind, we've got, we've got ghouls, right. Couple of shots to the head will not do anything because you're technically in the wall. So, there we go. Let's just quickly kill you off now. Right, where's the rest of you? Oh wow, um, yeah, there's a lot. Right, this is going to be fun. So, a couple of shots with this. Are you going to make it? No, nope. you're going to reload. Great way to. Yeah, do dra drama. Yeah. Okay, right, that's you down. And I see you over there. Pitiful. Am 
come out which way you come that way. There. Um, nope, you missed. Oh, there's another one. Move, you've got no AP. Oh, where are you? There. Right, there we go. Right. In the head, please. Nice. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? There. Quickly, there. Shoot down anymore? Well, there's a load of red on the map, but at the minute there doesn't seem to be. Oh, actually, playing that. Yeah, there's one. Okay, you've already killed him. Where the heck did you come from? Okay. Quickly. Take you out. Thank you. And. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be. We done? Anymore? Right, okay. Scavengers, no. We'll read that in a minute. See if it's anything different. Right, nothing up there. Right, let's just have a look at this scavengers note then. Can't believe I signed on for this. Who wants this crap? Collectors, the boss says. So who's the fool here? Them or us? Okay. So, yeah, they thought this was going to be pretty easy, but... Ooh, that was a mean monkey. Okay, I'm um, carrying too much. Piper, come here a minute. Hey, shoot. Take a look. stuff to carry now so just quickly check this out because obviously being a comic book store surely there's got to be a skill mag in here you can't tell me that a place like hubris comics doesn't have a skill mag hiding somewhere question is though where would it be i don't want the baseball bat Right. Ah, there we go. Right here. I thought there would be one. Right, unstoppables. Permanently get a one percent chance of avoiding all damage from an attack. Okay, one percent's better than zero percent. So, yep. Oh, there we go. Cubic's comic store in here. Take that. So that means it's going to be a high-leveled area. And no, we're not getting into that. Oh, and there we go. Right. Right here. And please, oh, come on, let's grab these first, and please tell me you work, yes, what have we got, ammo, that's nice, some caps, oh, um, not sure, but I'll take it anyway, some technical documents, and some ammo, thank you, right, oh, that was nice, so, question is now, where do we go, I'm guessing, up, up there, right, oh, Nope, you're just dead. Oh, hello. Well, I'm glad I looked up here. So, come on. No, nope. come on, Rose. Thank you. That's the one. Now, is that going to draw the attention of some others that we can quickly kill off or not? No. And I've got no frag grenade. Never mind. Right. Quick reload as we go up the stairs. And, yes, I know we're in danger, but... Oh, right. Oh, cheap. Thank you. Right. Did not see you, but anyway, you're now dead. No, you're not. You missed. There we go. Now you're dead. Right. Ow. Thank you. Right. Put you down. Right. There's another one down. So, yeah, okay. Alright. I'm glad to give Piper that gun, she's doing pretty well with it. Um, yeah, just in case you're wondering, I forgot to mention the gun I gave Piper was that um, legendary one that slows time down that we um, got off the dogs. So, yeah. Oh! Oh, look. oh and we got a legendary, okay. Alright, there we go. Let's uh, mix with every one of these shots, probably. 
Oh, two shots to the head, that is nice to you. Get rid of that. Right, that first bar, I should say. Right. And... Okay, we've only got the one. Never mind. Three. Go on, Piper. Shall we move, boss? Fine, I will then. Right. What? No, don't! Fall down there. Damn you. Right, what have you got? Eh, useless, never mind. And now I'm overweight again and can't move. Piper, come and help. Piper, where are you? Did she just jumped down there with me. Okay. I have no idea when Piper has just disappeared to. Ah, there she is. Right. Hey, what can I do? Now she's got that. It's, um, that's the one I killed a minute ago. So quickly, yeah, I'm gonna say quickly check the area out to make sure there's not on around or you know, there could be one there that we completely miss with every single shot nearly. I am glad that you know Piper isn't as bad at aiming as us. All right. In here, anything good I can do? Yes, oh, where the heck did you come from? All right, come on, finish him off. Thank you. All right, let's grab that um, quantum. Thank you. I'm gonna we'll take the ammo if you don't mind, and if you do mind, well, tough. All right, no, having that. Thankfully, yes, the stim pack is in here, that's good. Right. Right, next area, and then... Oh. Okay. Oh! Okay, there's another office key up here, so I'll take that. Just in case it's a different... Yeah, there we go. Open you... Oh. You just come back out here. Fine. Oh, and technical documents. Right, I'll take them as well, because again, they are pretty good. Right, let's just have a quick look on here, see if there's anything of interest. Okay, so just some pre-war stuff about issues that were going on in here before the war. So, nothing of major plot interest. But, right, I think that is everything on this floor. So, up to the next, I guess. Guns out, ready. Yeah, we will. Right. Yeah, nothing in there. It's fine. Come on. Where are you? I know you're waiting to jump out on me because you know, that's what you always do. Yeah. There you are. Yep, I knew you were around here somewhere. Right. Quickly. Okay, I was going to say. Oh, wow. Nice one, Piper. Them. And yeah, let's just be careful we don't um, fall down. Right. Another hole. Right. And another. Oh, geez, another floor to search in a minute. Okay. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that door to be locked, but never mind. Well. See if there's anything decent in here. Oh yes, um, Silver Shroud script. Well, let's have a listen to that, shall we? While we're clearing the place out. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's one of them ones. Never mind.
Okay, so yeah, I thought I'd up because that is all it is. Um, I guess the, um... Didn't finish it? I have no idea, but never mind. Right. Um, let's see what's on your terminal, and then we'll move on. Okay, so, so just some more again, back and forth emails between people on here. This place so, doesn't get a whole heck of a lot of foot traffic. Nope, probably not, but that's fine. Um, and go pop cap. Right, let's head up another flight of certain. Oh, a glowing one somewhere. No, you're a feral. Where's that glowing one over there? You're behind there, right? Okay, fine. Um, one in the head, the rest in the leg, I think. Oh, wow, okay, you snuck up on me. I wasn't watching. That would teach me. So, quickly get used. Oh, Jesus, a load of them. Right, um, trusty shotgun, I think. That'll do a fair bit of damage to dodge. Watch out the way of that. That's going to pump us full of rad. Come on, Piper, keep it going. Come on, come on, that's it. Quickly, get rid of you. One down, come on. Why am I not drinking? I wanna run. Uh, got that two dead. Alright, I wanna get me. I seem to be out of quantum for some reason. So, never mind, we'll uh, deal with that in a minute. Thank you, Miss. Oh, yeah, um. That regenerates them, doesn't it? Oh well, we'll just have to put them down again. Okay, round and round we go. Whoop. Come on, take you down once again. Oh, come on, Rose. That's it. Right. I'm trapped now. This is going to be. This is all I've got left. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, you've healed yourself up. So, well done, Rose. You've missed. Try again. I think you're actually out of there. Oh! And you're back up. Now you're down again. Jeez, right. Where's Piper? There. Get up. Quick stim pack in you. And awesome. he's got them all back up again, hasn't he? Right. Right. At least we've got piping out, so get with piper yet. Yeah. Will you just stay down? Right. That's it. Fall down there and then we don't have to worry. Thank you. Right, piper got rid of him for us. Right. Well that didn't turn out as easy as I was expecting, but again, when does it ever? Right. Up to the top floor I guess. Good behaviour, aren't you? Oh I Have a nosy in here. Yeah, I'm not bothered about. Oh, where is it? There we go. Shut the shell. Thank you. No, not having any of that. Alright. Let's quickly have a nosy. Yep, there's the silver shroud costume that we want. So we will quickly grab that. But, if I'm not mistaken, yet there is. Some other stuff over here, including Grognak the Barbarian costume. So, yeah, we'll um, take that. Not that, it, as I say, it's really going to do much, but, you know, it's another nice to have. Always on. What? Oh, I thought you were saying something. Never mind. Right. Um, anything else? I'll take the wig because I can't remember if that is anything. Super sledge. Oh, that's nice. So, we'll grab that as well. And some ammo, and okay, I'm over incumbent hey. again. Sure, take a peek.
Right, there we go. Well, that's that taken care of, but let's um, see what else we can pick up from here. Right. Oh, okay. Silver submachine gun prop and take. Oh, okay. That's um, something. Okay. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, nothing else I can see unless no. Nope. Yes, I am always trying to be good. Just wait a minute while I try and check. I think that is everything. So grab these and yeah, I think yeah, because it wants to scope onto the roof. So I'll do that in a minute because there is a door over here and oh, lo lovely, a magazine. Perfect. Do 5% damage with the Alien Blaster. Well, isn't it a good thing we've found the Alien Blaster already? Right. Anything? No. Oh, there's a suitcase. So let's open that. See if there's anything nice in here. That's it. Mm, not really. I'll take the Mentat, but nothing else I really want. Always okay. on good behaviour, aren't you? I am. Right. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that, but... Yeah, that's all that there. Fine, right. So, just so we can show it off a moment, I'm going to just quickly get Piper changed. We'll put this back on in a minute, but, yep, yeah, just going to um, get a change into some the Grogna outfit for you, just so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so there you go, that's what the Grognak, the Barbarian outfit looks like. And if you'll just stay still a minute, you can get a good look at it. So, yeah, now, in this game, outfits are identical for male and female characters. So it doesn't matter what item you pick up, you put it onto either a male character or a female character and it will look exactly the same. This is the only exception to that rule. In the female one, as you can see, it's got a bra and the loincloth, where on the fellas, it's just the loincloth. So, yep, this is the only outfit in the entire game that I'm aware of that is different for male and female characters. So, yep, there's that. And just to be, you know, Show it off. Heads up. I'll uh, have word. a look at the Silver Shroud one for you. Looking for something specific? Okay, well, I can't show it off because it's not an actual outfit that you can wear. So, yep, yeah, there we go. We've um, got paper all dressed up. And yet, yeah, the Grognak stuff as well, you can put armor on over it. Only limited. There are a few items you can't put on. But yet, yeah, you can put it on. So, let's get back now, shall we? Always on good behavior, aren't you? Ah, right, now it's finally kicked in. Yep, right, let's uh, see what we've uh, got to say. Three, okay. I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Okay, all right, let's see how we deal with her now. And that's a three. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary. Knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide. Today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it. Because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Okay. Alright. Let's, um... I'm gonna be nice to her. Four. Okay. You'd really risk your family like that? I'm not saying it's without its consequences, but in my experience, it's worth it. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth, 
tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. The town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. Okay, right, let's see. Um, that's an eight. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get... Fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know. So, should we head out? Okay. Well, let's uh, head out yet yeah, and get back to Good Neighbor. So I will hopefully see you in Good Neighbor. Okay, Kent. Come on. I've got it for you. I got your costume, Kent. And some other goodies you might like. There she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Okay, all right. So, let's see. Um, what are we going to say? And um, that's a five. Okay. Uh... What are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. Okay, um, let's see, we're going to hand it over. Seven, okay, yep, we are. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or... or his butler, Jarvey Blake, but the Shroud is strong, capable. Okay, all right. Let's see. And that's a seven again. Don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being a Silver Shroud? You're just like him. Except you probably haven't been in a blimp shot down by mobsters. Right, okay, and the fact that, um... I'm female and he was male, but yeah, okay, right, sounds good to me. Let's see. Four, of course, Rose wants money. If I go along with this, I could use a little extra. The Shroud's motivated by justice, not caps. Please, you gotta help. Okay, well, we failed that one, so let's see, are we gonna do it? Nope, we just failed that one. Nope, we just failed that one. Three. Okay, so yet we are. Looks like I get to be the Shroud. Yay. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Okay, so there we go. We've now got the official uniform, and I know I normally roll for speech checks, but just for this one, I'm taking full control over it. Because we're going pure... Silver Shroud. For this, we're doing it properly. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Okay, right. Let's, um... Change into our outfit then, shall we? Actually, no. We'll do that in a minute. Oh, and yet we're... Look alive. Overweight Look again. Away. Right. Paper, I've got a few bits of... Paper! Paper! 
stand. Over here. Come here. It's a plan. Right. In fact, you know what? If we're gonna do this, Probably let's do it properly. Yeah. Um, come here a moment. First things first, I need to get rid of a few little bits. So I'll just take these quickly. Right. And where is it? Grognak. You can put Grognak on, because we're going to do this properly. And let's take all of... Oh, no, no, keep the rifle, keep the rifle. Let's take the armour off. Because, yeah. Fine. Do it like that. And there we go. Right, that is everything off for you. So you're now dressed as the female grognak um, with a gun. And now I'm going to go and put the silver shroud on. And yeah, we're going to do this all properly. I'm put the hat on as well. And where is the gun? Where's the gun he's given us? Probably under S. There we go. Silver machine gun. Right. 0.45. Good job we've got plenty of ammo for that. Right. So let's have a look what we look like, shall we? There we go. The female silver shroud and Grognak the barbarian. Right. Let's... Um, Get out of here, shall we? Yep, yeah, actually, um, I'm going to have to put the backpack on because, yeah, I can't carry anything. So, oh, jeez, you still can't carry everything. Right, um, this is going to be fun. Like, Piper, how much more Look can you carry? Okay, well, this is going to have to take a minute because I have to find somewhere to dump all this because I haven't got enough you know, carry capacity. And I can't put anything in here because the moment I put it down, it becomes, well, theirs. So, I'll just find some out here quickly that I can dump everything in so we don't lose it. There we go, that's right. We'll pick that back up in a minute. So, let's get the radio on, shall we? And have a listen to what we need to do. Galaxy News Radio. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once-in-a-lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. You look just like Sammy too. Everyone heard how Shores Wayne Delancey like murdered Miss Selmy and her kid with sense over in this a town? few lousy caps. They've got another thing coming. Death is coming for you, what Wayne. What am I gonna tell his mother? Okay, so we need to find Wayne. News. So, Radio. Got that. See, so apparently Radio you're down here. The streets of Boston. So One yeah, we'll get the gun out the and... Quickly! Yeah. Let's turn that radio off a minute so city. we can hear everything properly. What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I've found a new friend. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well... Nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me. Right. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Right. Yep. Let's uh, um, just quickly put a few bullets into his head. Unfortunately, though, we are not very proficient uh, with this gun. So, yeah. Let's quickly throw that down there and get back before it um, decides to kill us. There we go. That's done some nice damage. To oh, it's taking his leg out. That's good. And few into him yet. This is a case mainly of just putting the numbers into him. Actually, you know what? You're getting pretty close. No. There we go. Got him again. Alright. Have done any more damage to him? A little bit. And thank you, Mysterious Stranger. Well, there you go. Three heroes in one. Alright. And. Okay. He's um, still. Still there. Why? What am I missing? Um, oh, the cards, isn't it? Yeah, um, where are the cards? Where are the cards? Okay, it's not letting me drop it. Okay, um, I don't get what 
Let's up with him. So, just... Ah! There we go. We actually have to um, finish him off that way. Right. Okay. Not a problem. Right. And... Let's just get anything an off him that we way. need. If he's got anything. And... There we go. Done! Okay, so unfortunately we have to do that kind of manually for some reason. So, yeah, this one's kind of... Um, Take a little bit of control off of us, but never mind. All right, heal up, and let's listen to the radio again. See what's next. The show, Jerry is here. Is this thing on? Hello. Hello. It's on. We're recording in here. Oh man. See what's going on in a minute, Great. and then we can Great. move on. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have killed people. And? I don't get it. We can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. Okay, so let's go and deal with AJ, shall we? Yeah, let's uh, turn that radio back off. There we go. Right. Hey, look at the clown. This is my turf, clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Okay, well, we're gonna speak as a shroud because I think this is hilarious. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today you face the Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what, I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And, uh, Maybe get Kent off my back, all right? Nope, we're gonna threaten you as the Shroud. Stop selling to children, miscreant, or face my wrath! Board up the windows because we're putting you out of business. Screw you. Waste the freak. Okay, uh, let's just get back here a minute because you have the three of them. Throw you down there and back up. And there we go. Okay, it kind of hurt Piper. No, there you go. Don't worry. We'll just stab you a minute, Piper. There we go. Right. AJ, take a few bullets, please. Come on. And I'm one of your goons there. So, taking a bit of, a bit of damage. So, oh, thank you. Well, that's handy. Three heroes together. All right. Are you actually dead or are you going to be like, think it, no, you're actually dead this time, right. And, hey, no, I don't want to do that there. Uh, Piper, get back, get back. For, no, you're still here. Yeah, Piper, don't stand there. Oh, well, at least one dead anyway. And AJ's on his own. So, should hopefully be um, pretty simple to take down. Just got to be careful because I don't know where that uh, bottle cap mine is. Oh no, is that right? Where did that bottle cap mine go? There it is. Right, I'll take that back, thank you. Right, let's see what's in here, and yeah, I'm guessing, yeah, it's not gonna let us, um, think it's so. Sweet dreams. You just made your last mistake. Oh, okay, it's back up. That's, um, let's get down. Right, okay, I don't know why that happened, but never mind. Um, Piper, where have you gone? Yeah, take you down. 
Yeah, I don't know if this is some sort of glitch or something, but... Yeah, uh Fine, I'll do that then, and then you can come down to me. There we go, right, he's down. Is he dead? Yeah, there you go, he's dead this time. Right, that's fine, we'll uh, pick these caps up. And then just clear them all out. And there we go, yeah. Let's leave a card on him there, and listen to the radio for our next job. Right. Silver Shrouds bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Galaxy! Okay, right, so I guess I'm going to have to... Head off to there. Oh, the right outside of it. Okay. Yeah. Alright, come on, let's see uh, what's going on in here, shall we? Okay, where are you? Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Thank you. Alright, and um, down here. Alright, just here. Okay, where are you? Oh, it's you. That okay. That silver shroud costume? <laughs> hey, ain't no judgment. Silver shroud costume? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, be quiet. Judgment. Make way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? Because the shroud. You look upon the silver shroud. I seek a miscreant named. Kendra. Shroud then? Well, I ain't nothing. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. Hmm, now I'm gonna keep on as a shroud for now. It is not wise to stand between the silver shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> Justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, then. Good luck. Okay, so let's go and find her then, right? Another one of you mercs looking for McLean? He's in the back room. Okay. No, I'm not looking for McCready. Not on this playthrough anyway. Alright, let's get out of here. And get to the apartment. So apparently this is the apartment we need to get to. So let's head inside, shall we? Okay, where... Oh, we've got What's some up? wastelanders in it. Not wastelanders, we've got some raiders in it. So let's uh, quickly take them out. Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. There we go. Right. Okay, got no AP. Come on. It's not good. You know what? I need. Where is it? Where is it? Look. No, come on. Uh, help up a bit, so quickly just try and finish these off, but it's not going to be easy. Come on, I need, I need some AP. Actually, I'm sure I've got some that can boost AP. One, I've got one quantum left. Right, that's just gonna have to do. 
and I'm going to use it on you because, well, you're down and they can start shooting back. Right. And throw it yes. back. There we go. Right. Why don't you just die? Because I don't want to. Right. Grab some stim pack. Nice. Some ammo. And oh, oh right, I've got two broken arms. Right, quick stim pack to heal me up. And oh lovely, you're um, armored up. Quickly. Into that. Whoa, watch out! There we go. It's okay, fire pictures. Ah, you just keep shooting him, I'm, I'm fine with that. Come on, pop your head out. There we go, thank you. And we go for the arm. Right. I wonder what's going through his head seeing the two of us down here like this. I must think his um, chems have gone a bit weird on him. There you go, thank you. Right, just why Piper's keeping him busy. I'm gonna, uh, Nope, nothing there. Uh, right, okay, never mind. Oh, jeez, Piper, when you throw it, make sure I'm not in the way. Come on. There we go. Okay. Ah, get my claw from you. Okay, you keep do that, that's fine by me. Frag grenade, that's nice. Um no, don't need any of that on for you. Okay, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Turret, so let's quickly take care of you. It's a turret. You've seen him before. Good. Alright, come on, come on AP. I think we should be okay for now. So Oh yeah. That was Oh! Back up, back up, back up. There we go. And down, nice. Right. That sneak attack damage is really good. Run! Ooh, we okay, Piper? Yeah, right. I thought I would have got picked up by that. Never mind. Right. Some ammo. And where? There you are. Right. Let's um, quickly have something to eat to get our health up a bit. Yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. And hello. Let's uh, have a chat. You're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. Do you really? Well, guess what? You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Let's um, take care of you. And... Um, when I say take care of you, I mean run away and let Pike fight you. Oh, I have uh, got no bottle ca Oh, okay, I've never seen that one before. Right. Um, Piper, get up. You're only distraction. There we go. Oh, my God. Yeah. oh. wow, okay. Um, she switched over to the flamethrower, okay. Oh, does that mean she's run out of ammo? Um, I'm not going to be the one dying there. That's going to be you. If I can get something in. Okay, I'm um, guessing Piper is yet yeah, down. So let's just do a bit of running away a moment. Oh. Yeah, let's call the elevator. Going up. Going up. I hope I'm going up anyway. Oh, oh well. Paper is here with me. That's nice. Right. 
Okay, something tells me this is not the same area we're in. Never mind, at least it's got paper back. Where are we? Third floor. Oh, okay, third floor. That should be okay. Oh, whoa, 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 nope. That's outside. We do not want to be outside. Although, I'll take the cat fly we're here. Right. Um, yeah, this is uh, not where we want to be. Let's get back down. Going down. Will the Shroud and Grognek survive? Will the villain prevail? Will good neighbor see justice? Find out next time in the thrilling conclusions of Fallout 4 Dungeons and Dragons.